Okay. Hey guys, this is Chris Gregoria here from Niche Gamer, and this is our first, as far as I know, video review. Or not, because this is actually a preview. Mordheim City of the Damned is the game in question, and it's currently available on Steam as an early access title. Anyway, as you can see, I've recorded some gameplay here, and I'm playing as the Human Mercenaries Warband up against the Skaven. I've jumped right into the middle of a fight, barely a few turns in. The area this skirmish is taking place in is really simple, because the two warbands started right across from one another, as per the spawn settings, so this one really quickly became just a straight up face-off right in the middle of the stage. So, as the game is early access right now, and not fully released, a lot of the promised workings of the game, like permanent injuries and shops for example, have yet to be added. However, even with the very basics of what they offer right now, the game shows some serious promise. Now, as it stands, when you start up the game, you pick from three available warbands. The Human Mercenaries, the Sisters of Sigmar, and the Skaven. The fourth warband available will be the Cult of the Possessed, although it's not been introduced yet. From there, you have two options available during the early access. You can customize your warband or play a skirmish. Customizing the warband is where the real fun will be when everything else is added, but right now, it's just able to give a taste of what's to come. For now, you're able to change weaponry and the type of armor your units have equipped, each of which confers various bonuses to certain aspects of that unit. A shield allows you to use block stance, an axe ignores armor, it's that sort of thing. Right now, the shop and everything is still closed, though, so there isn't really any growth for your warband over time yet. But, you can still set up a warband designed to focus on certain things, like tearing through enemies' armor or defensive abilities and heavy armors. During the early access, the skirmish is the only available game type right now, but it's running incredibly smoothly as you can see. Despite my own occasional movement screw-ups and control mix-ups, the battle still runs great. Of course, things will change greatly between now and the actual release. For example, you can throw away your units right now since you don't have to worry about the permadeath, but you will. In the meantime though, the gameplay is solid and working very well. I was dubious of the whole game at first when I had heard about it because it's hard to make a tactical video game with the freedom of tabletop style games. It's been years since I've played any form of Warhammer, but I loved the freedom you had for positioning and line of sight. It was an entirely different ballgame from general tactics games of the time that were generally focused on grids and the like. With the exception of RTS games, which I'm kind of bad at, a good turn-based strategy game that allowed such freedom was really hard to come by, and very, very easy for the devs to mess up. However, I think Mordheim got the formula down really, really well. I've only played a few matches still, so I'm really still getting used to the movement controls as far as smoothness goes, but even I can see the great job that the Mordheim team did with transferring a bunch of old Warhammer and even D&D rules to the game. For example, the threatened areas, stopping opponents from walking by and such, are really well implemented here, and it's a rule that really adds a strong layer of strategy that many other games lack. I mean, be honest, how many strategy games allow you to actually block off a entranceway or something along those lines without the use of a grid? It's very unusual, and keeping an enemy locked in place with you while they're, you know, fighting that unit adds a whole nother strategy to the game. Now, a lot of the game is handled by behind-the-scenes dice rolls and such as well, with spell failures, dodging, blocking, parrying, and the like too. It keeps things interesting and retains some of the tabletop feel, even if you aren't rolling the dice for yourself. Without getting too deep into the systems here, there's also various effects like fear and poisons that will likely play a much bigger role when you're able to arm your warband with stuff from the shop. For now, though, the effects do carry a fair amount of weight when they do come up, though they don't come up all that often. However, as you'll see at the end of this video, this fight actually ends with the opponents failing a route check. As for some other non-gameplay related things, well, I think the game looks great. The graphics aren't like a AAA game or anything, but the models and areas still look really good for what the team was probably going for. It's really the style and the atmosphere that make this game what it is as far as looks go. 
The game is very monotone in most areas, befitting the hellhole that is Mordheim. The character models and locations all have a dark, dank look about them, and it really helps the overall feel of the game to just be brought a step further. And then, a really big thing for me, I'm a huge fan of their weapon designs. Especially in recent years, many fantasy-type games have gone incredibly overboard with their weapons, leaning more towards style than functionality. I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy XIV recently, and their high-end weapons at higher levels just do not make any sense for most of them. However, Mordheim here reined themselves in really well in that department, keeping their weapons simple, functional, and very befitting the atmosphere that the game set up. They're not that shiny, they look used, they're clearly there to be used as weaponry, and it's really refreshing to see a game go for that. In any case, I'm really excited to see what Mordheim will have to offer going forward. With the gameplay being all that's really showcased in the early access, considering how well it's done, I'm really excited to see what the customization will bring. Given the right tools, Mordheim could really quickly become a really good tactics game staple for PC. The team here has done a fantastic job with what I got my hands on in the early access. Now they just need to keep up the good work. Before signing off here, I do want to say that I think Mordheim's gameplay is a step in the right direction for strategy games. While I'll always love grid-based strategy, it's hard to take the genre any further than games like Final Fantasy Tactics and Fire Emblem already have. Those two series have utterly dominated the genre. However, Valkyria Chronicles really opened a door with the third-person turn-based strategy combat, and I think, given some time and polish, this style of strategy game could really be the next step in the genre. More time is an excellent second step in the direction.